Hi everyone, welcome. The Apple Mail app on iPhone is my favorite email client because of its simplicity and efficiency. But did you know there are some features that can make it even better and more powerful? In this video, I'll walk you through some must know features that will transform how you manage your emails with the email app and help you become a pro user. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about mail categorization. In iOS 18.2, Apple introduced categories to automatically sort your emails into categories like primary, transactions, updates, and promotions. In theory, this allows you to find what you need quickly and help you keep your inbox organized. If you want to show all your emails in a list format, simply tap on the category you are on again and you will be taken to the All Messages category. Don't like the way Apple is categorizing emails from a particular sender? you can force all emails from a specific sender to be categorized in a certain way by hitting the reply button on any email from that sender and selecting categorize sender. Then you just pick a category. To undo this change, go back into the categorize sender option or go back to your all inboxes screen, select the three dots at the top right, click on about categories and then go all the way down and select reset manual categorization. But Despite all these options, if you're still like me and you don't like this new categorization feature, you can easily turn it off. Just tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and switch from categories view to the list view. If you want to also get rid of these huge icons on the left, you can go to settings, apps, mail app, and turn off the show contacts option. Great, much better. Next, let's streamline your inbox with the filter feature. Simply tap the filter icon at the bottom left corner of your mailbox list. And once you tap it, you'll notice that you probably are just filtering for unread messages. But the cool thing is you can add more filters to this view. Simply click on the blue text in the middle to bring up the additional filters. For example, if I want to filter not only for unread messages, but unread messages that have attachments, I can toggle on the only mail with attachments. After I click done, I'll be shown unread emails that include attachments only. One of my favorite features is setting up VIP contacts. With VIP contacts, you can ensure that certain emails stand out with special notifications. This is perfect for important work contacts or family members you can't afford to miss an email from. To set up VIP contacts, go to the mailboxes screen, click on edit and select VIP. Then go inside the VIP folder to add contacts as VIPs. From the same screen, you can click on VIP alerts to configure special alerts for emails you receive from these contacts. Apart from having their own dedicated mailbox, these emails will also be marked with a star, allowing you to quickly identify them. Did you ever receive an email that you need to act on later? With the Mail app, you have two options to be reminded later of a specific email. The first is to share the email to the Reminders app. I like doing this by highlighting either the subject or body of the email clicking on share, selecting the reminders app, and a new reminder will be created. What's cool about this is that the new reminder is automatically linked to the email itself. So when I am reviewing my reminders, I simply have to click on the mail icon and I am taken straight to the email that I created this reminder from. If you don't use the Apple reminders app at all, you can use the built-in remind me feature. This will push your email back to the top of your inbox at a time you select it. Additionally, you can set up custom notifications specifically for these reminders. For example, I have all my alerts turned off for all my emails, except for the ones where I use the remind me feature. If you're still with me and you found this video helpful so far, please give the video a like, but for now, let's keep learning about the mail app. Next, we have the search bar. What I would like to highlight here is that you can search by attachment type. For example, I can search for spreadsheet attachments and only be shown emails that contain a spreadsheet for an attachment and you can do the same for Word documents, PowerPoints, and PDFs. In addition, you can also search by relative date. For example, I can search for emails received last week and use the before and after tabs here at the top to jump between emails before last week and after last week. If you're like me and you never archive your emails, then the swipe right function to archive emails is not really useful. To change this, you can go into the mail app settings Go to mail accounts, select the account you want to change the option for, then go to account settings, advanced, and select move discarded messages into deleted mailbox. 
I know that was a lot of screens, but you should now see the option to delete an email instead of arch archiving it when swiping right. Let's now wrap up the video with two quick tips. First, did you know you can delay sending an email by long tapping the send button and you'll be able to schedule when your email goes out. This is perfect for sending that late night presentation at a more professional hour. Next, you can long tap the bottom right button or new email button to instantly bring up all your drafts, allowing you to quickly access them. And there you have it, quick and straight to the point. These are some tips that can help you better use the Apple Mail app, because yes, it may not be the best design, but what I like about it is that it's very simple and efficient, and with some of the tips that we just discussed, can actually be a very powerful email client. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.